1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Muhammad Zubair Khan. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has said the government is taking every possible step to facilitate foreign investors. President has strongly condemned the recent acts of desecration of the Holy Quran in Denmark and the Netherlands. Foreign Office says Pakistan remains committed to further solidifying relationship with the United States for peace, stability and prosperity in the region. North Korea unveils new warheads showing an increase in the country's nuclear arsenal. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif says the government is taking every possible step to facilitate the foreign investors. He was talking to a delegation of Rekotik Mining Company headed by its Chief Executive Officer Mark Bristow who called on him in Islamabad. The Prime Minister said Pakistan has immense investment opportunities in mining, information technology, energy, communication and infrastructure sectors. He said many areas of Pakistan, especially Balochistan, are rich in mineral resources and the government is working on priority basis for fully utilizing these natural resources. Shabashri said the Rikotik project will be a game changer for Balochistan that will usher a new era of development in the province. Minister of State for Petroleum Musaddiq Malik has said Rikotik project is important for the development of Balochistan along with the mining sector. Talking to a delegation of Barak Gold today, he was appreciative of the step to provide 70% jobs in the project to the local population. Chief Executive of Barrack Gold, Mark Bristow, said they are committed to the upgradation of infrastructure, including railways. He said their efforts will continue for development of the region. Prime Minister Shabash Sharif has expressed grief and sorrow over the death of Umrah pilgrims in a bus accident in Saudi Arabia. In a statement today, he commiserated with the bereaved families and prayed for the departed souls. According to Saudi authorities, at least 20 Umrah pilgrims were killed and 29 injured in a horrific bus crash in the southwest of the kingdom. President Dr. Arif Alvi has strongly condemned the recent acts of desecration of Holy Quran in Denmark and the Netherlands. In a statement today, he said these heinous acts have hurt the sentiments of Muslims all over the world. Such incidents are provocative and indicate rising Islamophobia in the world. The president said freedom of speech is not the name of hate speech and inciting people to violence. He said the desecration acts are contrary to internationally recognized norms and principles of legitimate expression of freedom of expression. He said Islam preaches peace and brotherhood to the humanity. President Arif Alvi urged the international community to take practical measures against Islamophobia and discourage extremist elements. He also stressed the need for practical steps to promote tolerance, interfaith harmony and dialogue. Foreign Office says Pakistan remains committed to further solidifying the relationship with the United States for peace, stability and prosperity in the region. Responding to queries of media persons in Islamabad, Foreign Office spokesperson Mumtaz Zahra Baloch said, We value our friendship with the U.S. She said under the Biden administration, this relationship was widened and expanded substantially. The spokesperson said we are thankful to the U.S. and co-host countries for inviting Pakistan to attend the second summit for democracy being held on the 29th and 30th of March. Mumtaz Zahra Baloch said as a vibrant democracy, the people of Pakistan are deeply committed to democratic values and generations of Pakistanis time after time have upheld their faith in democracy, human rights and fundamental freedoms. This month, the nation is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the 1973 constitution that is the fountain of democratic polity in Pakistan. The spokesperson said the summit process is now at an advanced stage and therefore Pakistan would engage bilaterally with the United States and co-hosts of the summit to promote and strengthen democratic principles and values and work towards advancing human rights and the fight against corruption. North Korea unveils new warheads showing an increase in the country's nuclear arsenal. 
During a briefing in Pyongyang, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un directed to expand production of weapon-grade nuclear materials to build more powerful weapons. The briefing took place as country's military again tested a nuclear-capable underwater weapon system capable of radioactive tsunami to destroy enemies' warships and ports. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official